I built this quiz CLI. Nice. All the user has to do is run this in their terminal. And if they're the first to get all five correctly, they are given a valid Apple gift card. So you might want to try it out. And luckily, you don't have to be a genius to build this. So let's get into it. So all we want to do is run npm init y in our terminal. And in our package JSON file, we need to do a couple of things. Firstly, we need to give it a type of module. This allows us to import things into our JS file, give it a start script, and finally give it a bin. And so once we have that done, we can create our index.js file. And before writing our code, we need to import this. What the hell? even that this is a shebang line that allows us to run our script as a command line tool basically this is what makes our command line interface and underneath the shebang line we need to make a couple of imports the first two are libraries that allow us to design our command line interface and the last one is just a set time up from javascript and so obviously we need to install these and so just run this in your terminal and so with the imports done we can create our first function we're going to call it async function main and in it we're going to give it an intro text this will be the first text that the user sees when running our app and we're also going to give it an outro text this will be the final thing the user Sees. And since this is a quiz app, we need to give it questions. And so we're going to create a question class and the parameters include the question itself, the list of different answers that the user can pick from, and finally the index of the correct answer. And now since we have our question class, we can create a bunch of questions for our quiz with an array of all the questions at the bottom. But guess what? As of now, we just have our questions and our command line installed, but we actually need to make this functional. To do that, we're going to create a function called ask question with the parameters of the question, answers, and the correct answer index from our question class. We're also going to create a correct total variable. And in here, we're going to create an options array, display all the questions for the user. And finally, based off what selection the user made, we're either going to add a point or no point at all. And by the way, these spinners are just loading states to make the UI more intuitive. You'll see in a second. And now finally, we just need to create the progression of the game. So still within our main function, we're going to ask the user if they're ready to play. And if the answer is yes, we loop through each question and ask them all the questions. And then finally, once they're done the quiz, if they get all five correct, we generate them the the code while outputting something else if they didn't. And to make sure this works, we're going to run node dot. And as you can see, the app is running perfectly. And as we programmed, if the user gets all five correctly, they are given the code, which I will not show you in this video. You have to do it on your own. And if they don't get all five questions correctly, they are given another message. And now to make this app public, because we don't want to be localhost developers, all we got to do is run npm login. This will either force us to create an npm account or log into our npm account. And then once we're verified, all we got to do is run npm publish. And now with that done, all you got to do is run your app like this and you got your own CLI. So there you have it. That is how you create your own CLI. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It honestly really go a long way. And if you want to build your own auth system, check out the video here. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.